Uh huh, honey. So I just got back from a long day, but a really great day of working the Canadian election. I was a poll clerk, so really fun job. I love writing things. I think it's something I might be interested in going into, like office -y stuff. Met so many people too, and counting the ballots was such an exciting moment. Uh, we're in the West, so conservative. Uh, on our downtime, we chatted. I had some snacks all day, uh, but it was really great. I'm so interested in politics now. I should have gone into that, but I didn't even know you could go into politics political science when I was applying for university. Predicting a minority liberal government? Hey, so today was <clears throat> back to school for me. It was a great day. The kids listened really well. All the classes were fun. In uh, French, we all did grammar together and the kids actually kind of liked grammar. Strange, but it might be because it's very concrete information and sometimes the abstract it gets you have to think more, so um, they like the, the solid answers. Then in history, um, I did history and careers at the same time, so a lot of independent work for the students. Christian ethics, they had a work period. Science, oh, I love teaching science. Again, it's concrete. I like doing the examples. I feel like my high school chemistry teacher a little bit, um, but we learned how to name compounds looking at a formula. Then last period, we had fun starting the play. It was really fun to have the kids reading the play, and I love it. It's called La Machina Beauté. Tonight, Janessa's mom and I had fun at dance fitness, and because I worked out for two hours, I'm having spinach dip. Hey, so today was another good day. I love teaching science. It's definitely my favorite class to teach today. I taught the little kitties how to write formulas from word equations. In French, we did more grammar. We learned about the imparfait. Yeah, some interesting stories at school. I won't share them right now, but uh, maybe I'll write a book one day. We did a quiz in science. Oh, and in French, a grade 12 French was super fun because we're reading a play and uh, some of the boys were just getting so into it and it's just so fun. It's fun to see the kids having fun in French and that's really what we want to bring them to. I also got to say I've been loving the show What If on Netflix. I love psychological thrillers. I've been watching it in Spanish since it's a Netflix original. It's available in all these different languages. But I love, I really relate to the main character in some of the ways where she doesn't have a lot of emotions sometimes. Uh, but you should definitely check out the series. I was actually reading up about the inspiration today. It was inspired by Newton's third law saying for every action there's a reaction. Plays on guilt and all these like hidden storylines and apparently it's going to continue with like a different big story every season but it's so good. I plot twists and I love practicing my uh, Spanish comprehension so it's uh, muy bien I could say. So tonight I'm staying later to help out with the play practice with the crew so I got a classy meal and I'm going to prepare my history test for next week but I'm feeling motivated and I want to prepare lots of things. It comes in waves so I'm ready to work. This is so sad. I didn't want to buy the $8 burger, but like, look at this. It's so sad. It's Friday, it was a great day. My faculty advisor came and observed my French class. We started a new project where they get to interview characters from the play we just read. Science, we continued with Les Elements Polyvalents. French, we started writing stories. And history, they continued their project. Internship is flying by. But yeah, I finished What If yesterday on Netflix. Love psychological thrillers. There's so much symbolism. Now I feel like I've lost a friend. You know the feeling when you finish a show. Anyways, I'll have to find something to do now. So I just said something stupid. So naturally, I've decided to share it with the entire world. Uh, I just said I need to charge my guitar. That just shows the modern society we live in. What I meant was... <laughs> I need to tune the thing because hey! <laughs> Happy Saturday! So today, this morning, I got to walk my friend's dog. You know, I've been trying to do some dog walking uh, to make some money on the side. And oh, what a little sweetheart he was! A cockapoodle, I believe. Such a sweet dog. Uh, although there was a windstorm happening today, so uh, now I got my tea because it's cold. I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy. Saturday is the day I designate as day off, so tomorrow I'll do more prep work and stuff. But today, it's dog walking and relaxing. Oh, we didn't get any croutons. <laughs> you have Croutons! Oh, do we? Yes! Grilled Where? cheese for lunch and tomato soup. Where would we have croutons? So Janessa, what just happened? We ran into winter! Literally, it was fall over there. You can see the trees still changing color. And then over here, it's like full-on storm. Oh.
tranquilizers. So this is the and news minutes, this their morning. Their target brought down the okay. second one of the day. Let's put her on this side of the tree. The dough was carried out in is this a priority? Now it's time to inform it. Interesting. Guess we have too many deer. So today was Western day at school. So here's my outfit. I helped out after school with taking pictures for the drama production for the program. I got some science notes to take care of and then I am done for the day. So tonight we went and cheered on the junior volleyball girls. Woo! Got some face paint. What happened to yours today? I smeared it off. As you can see, I've done a similar thing. So I forgot I was wearing it, then I scratched my face.